Hey everyone, this is Dr. Ezra with Integrative Kidney Institute. And today I'm going to be talking to you about inflammation and chronic kidney disease. Why do I think that CKD is an inflammatory disorder? What are the causes of inflammation and kidney disease? And what can we do about it? All right, let's do this. But before we begin, make sure you press the subscribe button and the notification button so that YouTube notifies you when a new video comes out on our channel. All right, so patients with chronic kidney disease, we know they have higher rate of cardiovascular disease, heart disease, protein energy wasting, and increased mortality rate. And these factors have been linked to inflammation and low-grade inflammation has been shown in chronic kidney disease. I'll show you this data later in the video. And I'm going to be sharing all these studies that I'm going to be talking about in this video with you in the description below. So the question here, what is the cause of inflammation in chronic kidney disease? And there are several, so we're going to decipher them one by one. We'll start with the uremic environment. Uremic come from uremia, which is all the toxins that accumulate from chronic kidney disease. So these uremic toxins, when they accumulate, they can cause oxidative stress. So oxidative stress happens when they there is imbalance in the body between the production of harmful substances that are called free radicals and the ability of your body to counteract them with antioxidants. So there are a lot of data that showed oxidative stress is linked to heart disease, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, and chronic kidney disease, and many others. Now, in addition to oxidative stress that can build in the body and kidney disease, there's also this carbonyl stress. All these uremic toxins can bind with protein and change the function of these proteins. And also the oxidative stress can lead to changes in the DNA and the proteins and the lipids in the body and our cell membranes in general. So higher oxidative stress and carbonyl stress is linked to inflammation and chronic kidney disease. Another cause of inflammation and chronic kidney disease is metabolic acidosis. Metabolic acidosis describe the case where there is increased blood acidity. And again, we're not talking about stomach acidity, we talk about blood acidity. And here, the food that we eat generate blood acidity because of metabolism of the food and breaking it down. So if you eat a lot of animal protein, for example, that can produce a lot of blood acidity, while the fruit and vegetables produce a lot of alkalinity and counteract this acidity. So the presence of high blood acidities play an important role in bone disease and protein energy wasting that are common in chronic kidney disease. And the higher the dietary acid load, the faster is the progression of kidney disease. So metabolic acidosis has been linked to inflammation and kidney disease. Now, we talked about oral disease in the previous video. I'm going to put the link for you here. And we know that severe gum disease has been associated with elevated pro-inflammatory mediators, and increased white blood cells in the blood. And this suggests that the inflammatory process in the mouth is affecting the whole body. And we talked about the link between gum disease and kidney disease in the previous video. And gum disease has been associated with a lot of inflammatory processes all through throughout the body. The next cause is the intestinal dysbiosis. And also we talked about it in a previous video, but here there is this dysbiosis cycle that is unique to chronic kidney disease. Here, the uremic toxins that accumulate from kidney disease can by itself change the gut microbiome and lead to dysbiosis. And that by itself can decrease the secretion of these short chain fatty acids that feed the gut lining. So that damaged the gut lining and caused cause intestinal permeability, or they call it leaky gut. And leaky gut can contribute to the uremic toxins and lead to further inflammation. So intestinal permeability or leaky gut has been linked to systemic inflammation. And then vitamin D deficiency is very common in chronic kidney disease. In fact, some studies showed that the prevalence of vitamin D deficiency in chronic kidney disease is up to 80%. And there are several reasons for vitamin D deficiency in kidney disease. And again, we talked about them in a previous video. I'll put the link for you down here. These include inadequate outdoor activities, inadequate dietary intake, genetic variants, and loss of 25 hydroxy vitamin D in the urine and kidney disease. Also, vitamin D deficiency has been associated with imbalanced immune system in chronic kidney disease. And there's a link between vitamin D deficiency deficiency and inflammation and chronic kidney disease. And then obesity also is linked to inflammation and chronic and higher body mass index is becoming one of the strongest risk factors for chronic kidney disease. And in fact, the incidence of obesity related kidney disease has increased by tenfold in recent years. And the higher the visceral fat, so there's two types of obesity, the visceral obesity where the fat accumulate around the organs 
inside the body. And there's a subcutaneous obesity where the fat is under the skin. And these are the more active fat, like the brown fat, while the visceral fat can produce a lot of inflammatory cytokines, such as IL-6, which can lead to inflammation in the body. And there's data that higher visceral fat is linked to increased protein in the urine. There's another aspect that is unique to chronic kidney disease. And here there's a decreased clearance of cytokines. Cytokines are the chemical messenger that are produced by by the cells of the immune system. And there are inflammatory cytokines and there are anti-inflammatory cytokines. When inflammatory cytokines are high in the blood, it is like burning fire in the body, damaging and irritating the tissue. So it has been well documented that the level of circulating inflammatory cytokines is elevated in kidney disease, but also in addition to the increased generation of cytokines in chronic kidney disease, there's decreased renal clearance because the kidney is not able to get rid of the cytokines because of the decreased kidney function. So that is another reason why cytokines are elevated in chronic kidney disease leading to inflammation. And there have been studies, especially the CRIC study, which one of the largest chronic kidney disease studies showed that inflammatory markers such as IL-1 beta, IL-6, TNF-alpha, CRP, and fibrinogen are elevated in patients with chronic kidney disease. Now, these are the causes of inflammation in chronic kidney disease, but what are the signs of inflammation in chronic kidney disease? You see that by faster progression of chronic kidney disease, you see increased protein loss in the urine, you see increased risk of heart disease and death, you see increased itching, worsening nutrition and protein energy wasting, depression, worsening bone mineral disorder, and worsening anemia. So what can we do about this though? When we think about inflammation, we have to think about it from the root cause. So you have to think about the uremic environment. You want to decrease the uremic toxins in the body by following a plant-dominant diet and personal personalized gut restoration protocol. We talked about the personalized gut restoration protocol in the previous video. I'll put the link for you up here. And if there is vitamin D deficiency, we have to check for it. We have to correct it. But also we can use supplements such as omega-3 fatty acids that have been shown to decrease inflammation and kidney disease, green tea extract, pomegranate, soy, isoflavones, fibers, prebiotics, probiotics. These are important to decrease the level of inflammation and chronic kidney disease. And optimizing the person's nutritional status is fundamental for healing inflammation and chronic kidney disease. So the bottom line, low-grade inflammation is a common feature of chronic kidney disease. And there are multiple root causes that can be identified as a source for inflammation in chronic kidney disease. These include decreased cytokine clearance, oral and intestinal dysbiosis, vitamin D deficiency, increased uremic toxins, metabolic acidosis, and obesity. And it's really crucial that we address the root cause of inflammation in chronic kidney disease so it can improve the kidney outcome and the cardiac outcome for patients with chronic kidney disease. So I hope you like this video. If you like it, make sure you follow us on Instagram at Integrative Kidney, on Facebook at InKidney, and we're always on www.inkidney.com. If you're watching this video on Facebook, make sure you check our YouTube channel at Integrative Kidney.